In 2008, Treyarch changed Call of Duty forever with zombies in World at War. It was a simple concept that evolved drastically as time went on, but at its core, it was us playing as humans taking down the zombies, never the other way round. The idea was definitely toyed with because hidden in the weapons list is a weapon called Brains where you have arms out like zombies. But five years later, Treyarch finally let us play as a zombie in the most underrated game mode that zombies has ever seen. Let's revisit the one zombie mode that only 1% of you have played. Isn't this a throwback, ladies and gentlemen? The first one to get the kill becomes human. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. This is turned in Black Ops 2, where you play as a zombie. And my job is to take down as many of these zombies as I can. And stay alive as a human for as long as possible. And that was that was terrible. But I'm playing with three subscribers which is absolutely fantastic and i thought what better to look back at this completely forgotten zombies game mode and see how it holds up in 2023 so we're playing on the incredible turned diner map which is incredible to see and here we go we're now human so the aim of the game is pretty simple you need to stay as a human for as long as possible and every second oh no every second you gain points you got to stay as a human for as long as possible cycling through a bunch of weapons a little bit like a gun game this game mode was just so unique. I loved it. And I love that, you know, for many, many years, people have been asking Treyarch, we want to play as a zombie in Call of Duty Zombies. Make this a thing. And here it is. And we only saw it in two maps. This, and then we saw it on Buried. But I love that this mode also includes drops. If you find drops like a max ammo or something like that, and you pick it up, the human has to reload. Oh God, here we go. This is messy as hell. Oh my God, no. You just need one good spawn. One good spawn. I hate being here right now. My God, man. I just need to get inside the diner and stay there, which is exactly what this guy's doing right here. Oh my God. So the games don't last very long. They only last a few minutes. So we need to try and put our absolute best effort in here, especially since I'm playing up against some of you that watch the videos. There's one. Oh, he's got a monkey bomb. Oh, shoot. So if he throws them, I wonder what happens if you throw the monkey. He's got the monkey. He's cooking it. Too late, buddy. Oh, now I'm the human. Oh, I'm absolutely fluffed this. I have fluffed this so hard. No! I need to get a really good spawn with a good gun. Wait a minute. I just thought, was that a zombie shooting with a gun? That was the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. Okay, this is not a good place for you to hide, buddy. There we go. Ooh. Oh my god, the spawns on this are crazy. You see that? This is the sort of game mode that is just so unpredictable. You just don't know how to play this. And you cycle through a bunch of different guns. Oh my god. What? I just need a good spawn to where I can camp in the diner. That's all I want. Okay, there we go. There's one good spawn. There's a nuke. Can we get the nuke? Yes. Yo, so we get the nuke and it makes all the zombies stop in place. Okay, this is perfect. They've had to respawn now. And now we're in the diner. As long as we get a rhythm going here. Got one there. Oh, a monkey. But we're not going to grab it. We're not going to grab it. I really want to throw the monkey. No! I really wanted to see what happens if you throw the monkey. Because I'd imagine it'd make the zombies sort of be attracted to it. So you can't attack the human. But I don't think it works like that. Okay, there we go. There's one good spawn. I am I'm running in the worst spot right here. Yep. I just got cornered from behind there. That's the problem. You have no room to run in this mode. You move at all, you, you're gone. It's a game over. But this is actually quite a close match. Okay, we're going to wait for the zombies. I'm going to wait so we can just pile up on the human together. There we go. Goes for one. There we go. The max ammo makes the human reload. Where is the human? Oh, here he is. Oh, you can run. Oh my god. It's not based on just kills. It's literally just score. Oh my god. It's so hard. This mode is hard. I, I literally can't get to the human. He is killing it right now. Okay, there we go. Finally. Okay, we've got 15 seconds left. No. So now we've got the countdown here, but we have literally the round counter counting us down in seconds. Have we won this? We have not. And there's also a last standing human bonus, which Ben Boy got. So I suck, according to Rooktop, and I suck. But FaZe Pug absolutely killed it. He only got five kills, but he won because he was the human at the end. All right, I had to go for round two of turned. Where is that cure? I want to make sure that I win this. Where is that? There is a cure. No, he's going to get it first. 
Oh, we got it, boys. Okay, here we go. There's one. Come on. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. I know there was also one in the diner. There's one about to get the queue on the diner. So I know the final gun is the M1911. No, 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 no. No, no. We were so close. I know in the weapon cycle, it ends with the M1911. And we were so close there, boys. We were so close. All right. I'm very happy with how this is going. Also, one of the players in the game actually had his mic on. I've muted it just because... He was talking pretty loud. Oh my God. The one thing about this mode is that you sometimes get stuck a little bit. It's a little bit sticky sometimes, both as a human and as a zombie. So we zigzag around a bit. Is he even playing? <laughs> what? Hello? Are right, we going again? Oh, he's gone. I just wish the map was a little bit bigger because there's obviously very set spawns. Oh man. Oh, those are double points. That's for him. He wants the double points. So I looked it up and if you get a monkey bomb and throw it, it makes the human invisible so the zombies can't see him through walls. Because at the moment, we can always see the human. Oh no, there's only two zombies. This guy could absolutely win it. Oh, we just grabbed the nuke. This guy could genuinely win it. Now there's only two zombies. All right, he runs for him. Oh my God. This guy is getting so lucky. Dude, he is actually crushing it. I really thought I'd... Be there we go. There's the monkey. So it makes a human invisible, which might be good for me, actually. Okay, there's one. There's a three. Oh, no, he left. I think I was just going a bit too hard in the paint. Okay, but now there's only one player left who's a zombie. You might as well just let me get... Whoa. Oh my god, dude, I actually suck. All right, now it's literally a 1v1. Who would have thought it? This is where it actually gets really hard. If he gets all the way to the M1911 and kills me, I will be shocked. Oh my god, it's so close. Look at the point difference. Dude, I'm getting wrecked by this guy. It's just a 1v1. There we go. Oh, wait, I've got an insta kill. Oh my god, this poor guy. I. Okay, it's gone now. But oh my god. I didn't even know you could get insta-kill in this. All right, I, I think he's I think he's playing the long game now. He is playing the long game with me. I am so bad. Who would have thought it? Oh, I've got a double point. So now this drains points. It gives me double points. But I think the opposite one is it drains points for him. Okay, it's when we get to the chick -om, And then after this, he's going to try and go the long way around. Potentially, I think so. Oh, for a minute then. I didn't think I was going to hit him. Okay, we've got the monkey. Oh, we've got the M1911. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm going <laughs> to... I tried to cook the monkey bomb there to see if we could actually use it. Oh my God. We got him. Do I keep the monkey bomb? No, I don't. This is so fun though. Uh, actual 1v1. I'm going to cook the nade over there. This is going to be the biggest victory I've ever had in turn in my life. This poor guy. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think even if I got to the M1911, I don't think I'd be able to kill him with it. All right, let's get the reload. There we go. Now he has to reload his gun. And then we go in for the swipe. So we, the whole of this is pretty much a reverse gun game. Okay, we'll get the max ammo. I think it literally just gives us a max ammo. It doesn't do anything for the zombie. Oh, my God. No. But look at that difference. 26 kills. I think a 1v1 would have been even better. But he got the standing bonus. But we won. That was nuts. Like and subscribe for more.